Right, let's get started. I'm going to start off with why should we worry about reusing, about using reusable wet wipes? What's the problem with wet wipes? I have one word for you, and that is fatberg. Okay, um, 90% of sewer blockages, a recent uh, study or a recent survey concluded, are down to wet wipes. And what happens is that um, we mistakenly think that they're flushable, we flush them down the toilet and they combine with all the congealed fat and the poo and the other icky stuff in the sewers and they cause sewage blockages. And then once the sewer's blocked, um, all the wet wipes will... Um, sort of overflow and then that's how you end up with wet wipes on beaches and ucky things like that. So um, I've got some stats that I'm just going to have to refer to. Last year there were 360,000 sewer blockages. Um, so and I think that's in the UK only and if you think 90% of those are attributable to wet wipes. Um, so that is uh, one really big reason not to use them. Now there might be some of you there thinking well that's fine but I don't flush my wet wipes so what's the problem? Um, the problem is that they are still essentially a single-use plastic. They might um, look and feel like just a sort of thick woven paper, but most of them have um, plastic in them um, and they shed microplastics and they go and sit in landfill and they just sit there and don't degrade. So they are still a single-use plastic. When we did our year buying Nothing New, which was five or six years ago, um, we were using reusable nappies and therefore reusable wipes for bums was pretty easy um, because they all just sort of came as part of the package. But we still did that, you know, had a packet of wet wipes in the car, had one in the changing bag, had one in the kitchen and just used them for, you know, mucky faces, mucky hands, any spills, anything like that. So um, they are pretty ubiquitous, aren't they, to, to everything. We use them for kids bums we use them for faces we use them for spills we use them for makeup removal we use them for cleaning uh, they have become this ubiquitous thing and I remember saying to my mum at the time what did you do before wet wipes and she just sort of looked at me really blankly she was like I don't really know and um, I think the answer was probably spit and a hanky for mucky faces. <laughs> I seem to remember that seared onto my memory. Um, but it shows that just in a generation they have become this sort of can't live without thing and I remember thinking, right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go cold turkey on wet wipes and feeling really quite anxious and quite nervous and, and it feeling like a really big step and taking that little security blanket away. But actually, it was really, really easy. And I'm going to share with you some super easy ways to ditch the um, disposable wet wipes and go with reusables. Now, the easy, very, very easiest thing you can do is just to take an old towel and to cut it up. You don't even need to hem it or anything like that, just cut it up into squares um, and then to use them. Um, you can buy a big packet of flannels or something like that and use them. There are companies like um, Cheeky Wipes, and this isn't like an ad for Cheeky Wipes, but I am going to share quite a lot of their things just because I think they've done a brilliant job of making it easy and accessible for everybody. So let me just reach for my props. Cheeky Wipes do a whole range of different types of wipes. So I've got these ones. And I've got these ones, which are more sort of flannel type ones. Um, I picked the organic cotton just because it's, for me, um, you know, if I'm buying something new, I try and do it reducing the environmental impact. And cotton has a really big um, water and pesticide kind of impact. So if you can buy organic cotton, buy organic cotton wherever you can. As I said, the absolute best option is to make your own, is just to cut up an old towel or something like that. But if you're just thinking, I can't be asked then something like this, Cheeky Wipes, there are loads of other places that do reusable wipes, is great. Um, Cheeky Wipes, like I said, have made it as easy as possible. They have little um, tubs that come, one for your fresh wipes, one for your mucky wipes. There is a drawstring bag that comes with your mucky one and you just put that inside your mucky wipes thing and then when you need to, when it to do to be washed, you just lift out the whole bag and chuck it in the washing machine so you don't have to touch any of the icky mucky wipes. Okay, because I know that's something that some people struggle with, like especially if it's for baby's bums or if it's got poo on it. You don't have to touch it, you just chuck it all straight in the machine. I wash my wipes at 30 with everything else. If you've got um, little ones in reusable nappies, then it's fine, it all just goes in together. Um, my sister-in-law is actually the one who introduced me to cheeky wipes before I was using um, the regular wipes that we had with our um, nappy wipes. But she has, she still uses re disposable nappies, but she uses this system um, for nappy changes when she's at home. And that is a 
brilliant, brilliant place to start. If you can't quite face reusable nappies, if you're worried about what to do when you're out and about, then just use reusable wipes for nappy changes for faces and hands when you're at home. Um, and that is absolutely a brilliant place to start and you don't have to jump all the way into doing everything all at once. So like I said, the Cheeky Wipes guys make it as easy as possible. They come with little essential oils. So there's a clean and a mucky. Um, if you don't want to um, buy the Cheeky Wipe system, you can just buy the oils or you can just do what I used to do with the kids was um, I had some wipes and I used an old disposable um, wipes box, you know, the solid plastic boxes that they come in. And there's all kinds of recipes you can find online um, with chamomile tea, lavender essential oil, little drops of oil, all those kinds of things. But essentially it just needs to be damp. Um, so using the, the essential oils is really nice. It's literally... There's a line on the box that you put the water, you put your, your clean wipes in, there's a line to fill the water up to and you put a few drops of essential oil in um, and then it's good to go. And then with the dirty one, you just add some water and essential oil. Like I said, chuck your dirty wipes in there, pop them in the wash. It really is that easy, I promise you. Um, they won't last forever in there, sat there, the clean ones. So, but, it, you know, if you've got kids, you are washing pretty incessantly anyway, so you will get through them. Um, but, you know, I would leave them maybe two or three days um, and then just chuck any in the wash that you haven't used. Um, they dry really quickly and easily. We don't have a tumble dryer, so everything gets dried either out on the line when the weather's all right or uh, hanging inside. So they dry really quickly and easily. And you don't actually have to wait for them to dry before you use them again. It's ideal if you can, just to give them a chance to dry out and not go quite so foisty, but um, it, uh, it doesn't really matter. If you're out and about, I know that this is an extra layer of um, complexity. I don't know, just an extra layer of like, oh God, that's really hard, what am I going to do? Um, now, my kids are old enough now not to be going, you know, they're 10 and 7, so I don't, I don't really feel quite so vulnerable going out without any wipes anymore, but sometimes I will take some if I know they're going to be going and getting filthy dirty and then we're having lunch or something like that. Um, so just, um, again, you can get bags, this one's from Cheeky Wipes, like I said, it's not an ad, but there's a dirty, there's, a, there's two separate pockets, one for dirty and one for clean, both waterproof, and then you can just unzip the dirty bit and chuck it all in your machine. That's how clever it is. Um, so there are loads of different varieties of things like this. Before I knew that this kind of stuff existed, I would literally just put some moist baby wipes in a Ziploc bag, take them out. And then because I was using reusable nappies anyway, we had a dirty reusable nappy bag and that everything just went in there and then it just gets chucked in the wash at the end. So it isn't as intimidating as you might think going out and about uh, with reusable baby wipes. There's lots of ways of making it really, really super easy. Um, just trying to think if there was the other thing that, that I do with these ones is we have them now in the kitchen instead of kitchen towel Um, just use them you know if the kids are eating pizza or something like that they get chucked one of these it gets chucked in the wash use them as hankies uh, use them to mop up spills and then they just get chucked in the wash some of them are looking a bit grubby now but I don't really care they all just get chucked in the wash and washed at 40 uh, washed at 40 washed at 30 Um, so yeah Honestly, I promise you, it's not as hard as you might think it might be. A great place to start, as I said, is um, just using reusable wipes for bums. Uh, you know, you can have one in the in the bedroom wherever you change nappies for bums, and you can have another lot in uh, the kitchen or whatever for mucky hands and faces. Um, a good old flannel will do just as well, so you don't need to invest in lots of kit and caboodle, but if you want it easy, then there are some really easy... Um, some systems out there that have made it as easy and as idiot proof I say in the nicest gentlest possible way considering myself an idiot as well um it, the easiest way that it can be done so if you've got any questions do let me know um and I will do my very best to answer them if this has inspired you to have a go again do let me know and I can give you lots of support if you would like some um if you want more sort of easy uh, sustainable tips then do I've got a, um, an email that you can I send out a weekly email and when you subscribe to it you get 101 sustainable-ish swaps that you can uh, have a little think about making and maybe tick off some that you're already doing so that would be awesome if you wanted to sign up for that um, but yeah thank you for tuning in I hope that's been helpful I think I've just kept it to under 10 minutes <laughs> rocking and rolling uh like i say any questions if you're watching the replay let me know and i will do my best to answer them for you take care have a brilliant thursday